welcome to the first episode of Wealth Goals series. The reason I'm beginning this series is to share financial knowledge that I'm learning along the way. Now, my life goal is to achieve financial independence by 2025 and be a dollar millionaire by 2030, which in current uh, dollar to INR terms would be around 7.1 crore INR. And uh, I would be sharing my journey to the path along with you. But uh, let me share with you why I want to tread this path. So I'm someone to whom the phrase a fool and his money are soon parted can be easily associated. For the first 12 to 13 years of my earning career, I have frittered away money with bad money management. And it was not as if I wanted to mismanage money. I tried, but I lacked know-how and discipline. Money would just flow through my fingers and I've lost a lot of money with bad spending decisions, especially credit cards. I often wonder when money is such an important means to our existence, uh, such an important life skill, um, why doesn't schools or colleges teach us about money? Now. I'm asking you this question, have you ever attended a class which, which was Money Management 101 or Lessons in Becoming Wealthy? Even at home, most parents from middle class families, they are ill-taught, right? It is not just me who has suffered with lack of money management. Lacks and lacks of people have suffered the fate. I know this because I, when I talk to people uh, on an intimate level, they, they share this with me. And then I also have friends uh, and acquaintances who are very, very good and great at money management. So there is this divide between the haves and have nots, but what a colossal waste of potential for all the people who did not have the, the requisite skills. So <clears throat> today I see it with anger with why there was no help available for me. Why has a society not done anything in this regard on a topic which is such an important life skill? to become financially successful. Now, it is with this anger that I begin this YouTube series. And uh, it's, a, it's a mission to make up for all the lost time and op opportunity and compensate and emerge as a winner finally. But the maximum benefit of this journey would be uh, somebody with who is around 22 and who is just beginning his career. He would reap the maximum benefits uh, from this journey. Now, it's not like everyone is ignorant about money. I mean, we, we know the rich people around us, right? So there is this top 10% of the societal pyramid that is full of uh, rich people. And there is this divide between the haves uh, and have-nots in terms of knowledge of making wealth. Now, a very rich man once said, if you took all the money in the world and divided it equally among everybody, it would soon be back in the same pockets as it was before. So true, isn't it? Because the, the have-nots will not know how to manage the money and they will soon lose them all. So in this series, my mission is to democratize the knowledge and remove the divide between the haves and the have-nots. Some of the life's greatest miseries and the life's greatest happiness stems from money. And please do not try to challenge me on that where, where you say, uh, oh, money, money cannot buy happiness and all of that. I do not want to take uh, all that uh, BS. Because your peace of mind or your anxiety depends upon how well your personal finances are managed. And I have seen that in, in close quarters. So I come from a middle class family and I know while growing up years how important money was for us. So money impacts many relationships also including spousal relationships especially in countries like India. Where you have to depend, where there is a lot of financial dependence between partners. Not so much in European countries. Uh, but definitely in countries like India. Also, it's not like people who manage money better are smarter. Uh, it's definitely not true. They just know how to play the game. And I want to begin this series with a very simple but profound mindset to carry if you want to be rich. Now, I did not carry this mindset for a good 12 to 13 years of my working life and I've suffered because of it. And the concept is this, uh, make your money work for you. The rich know this, uh, the poor do not. And when I say rich and poor, I mean the mindset, right? So the mindset of the rich and the mindset of the poor. So the poor works for money, but the rich makes his money work for them. And that's the fundamental way to think about money that many people do not. 
So stop thinking of money as something you earn, something you make more or less of, something that you spend. So that is a, a limited view of what money is. You, we, we feel that, okay, money is supposed to be earned more, earned less or to be spent. So instead, think of money as your employee. Money should be working for you while you are asleep, while you are at work, while you are playing, while you are eating, uh, rather than you working for money. And that is the fundamental difference. Um, and that, that is where magic happens. So few people, so few people carry this mindset. And uh, the ones who carry this mindset are the ones who often uh, turn out to be uh, rich. At the most basic level, of course, we work for money. We need it to live and we get it by going to a job or working for others. That's basic economics, right? So you, but that's not how banks and investors think of money. They think of money as a tool for making more money, a way for creating, um, a way for creating more wealth. No one ever taught me that I could achieve magic with my salary. No one told me that the salary is a seed through which I could grow a big money tree. I always equated my aspiration to be affordable with a bigger salary that I would get in the future. My mental model was always this. Ah, if I doubled my salary in two years, I could afford a Europe trip with my family. If I increased my salary by 50%, I would be able to afford the new MacBook Pro. So all our life aspirations are tied to increasing in our earning power. And this was such a wrong mindset. For years, I have killed my money by spending it on some materialistic position instead of letting it grow to make more money for myself. No one ever told me that if I put, say, 5,000 rupees into this fund for five years, I would grow the pool into this much and could afford my aspiration. No one ever told me, no one ever told me how to use a credit card or not to use it at all. No one ever told me that instead of buying an Apple phone, I should rather invest in Apple stock and own a piece of the company. Today, if I know of a 22-year-old who goes to his first job, I catch hold of him and plead him to think of his salary as a magical tool to become rich. I ask him to use that precious salary and make it work for him. I ask him to think as if he earns only half of his salary and save the other half. If a 22-year-old is able to save 50% of his salary and does well in his career, he can achieve financial independence, say, by the age of 35 or 38 maximum. I wish someone would have told me this. For the first 12 to 13 years, I did very little to make my salary work for me. Money by itself is a losing proposition. Inflation eats away most of its value. Holding money is how banks earn interest. It's how investors turn $1 into 2 over time. Money works for them and that is how it should work for you too. The first reaction most people have on the idea of making money is, hmm, I know this is great, but you know what? I'm not a big wheel investor. I would not know where to start. Of course, you do not know where to start, but you have to make a start if that is a priority for you. I wanted to start this first episode of Wealth Goals series with planting this simple idea first in your mind. It is simple, but it's profound. It's just a switch. It's a change in mindset that can change your life and, and your fortunes. So stay with my Wealth Goals channel and we will go in this journey together. The least I can ask you in return is to please subscribe to my channel. The reason I ask you to subscribe is that the more people subscribe, the more people it reaches to in YouTube searches. So please subscribe. That helps me. That's all I had for today. I have a lot of more interesting content coming along in the days to come. Yeah.